my channel. I'm Jolie and I've been traveling for the last year and a half so I just wanted to share some tips and tricks to reduce our plastic consumption that I've learned and picked up along the way. Um, they might be some that you already know and I hope that they are so we're all doing it together and helping Mother Earth. Hmm. So the first thing I want to start off with is a water bottle. When I went to Asia, you obviously, you can't drink the tap water there. So the plastic consumption on water bottles and fizzy drinks and everything, it's just massive. And the difference between Asia and sort of Europe, where I'm from, and obviously Australia that I've noticed as well, is that they don't hide things like this. Like back home, you know, we put the plastic in the bin and it sort of disappears. Um, but they don't hide it and also a lot of places don't recycle either so it's sort of laying on the street, laying in the bins and it just made me so much more aware and conscious of it so the first thing in everyone's is a water bottle mine is a little bit sad, that's how loved it is but there's no point replacing it and I love it, it's a trash hero one so if you are going to Asia I would definitely look up trash hero because you can get free water refills everywhere they're a really great organization educating um schools and the locals in asia i think they're all across so i saw them in thailand bali and malaysia as well i think they're in kuala lumpur um and so they do like beach cleanups that you can go to and help out there as well so free water, but what I also had while traveling was a filter bottle, which just saved so much money. I added it up and roughly if I was going to buy a plastic water bottle every time I wanted to drink, roughly two liters a day, it was going to cost me 300 pounds a year. And you can buy a filter bottle, so you just use the tap or local streams, um, like clean, clean streams, clean streams sounded really odd or yeah just stick your water in it love stick your water in it and that will filter it all for you and they're around 30 pounds I use water well um but I do want to buy another one I know life straw is supposed to be really good I need to look into that um just because I broke my water well one stop buying the water bottles and second one carrying along the same lines I mean it's 2020 so I'm sure everybody has one got a travel cup and I when we came out to Australia invested in a little fold away one I got this on Amazon I think if you just look up like the best reviews fold travel cup it will come up so it's always in my bag okay. <laughs> okay. so it starts off its life like this and just take the bottom off and push it in. And so it's so compact because coffee is life, especially in Melbourne. I've been trying to cut it down. So it's not gonna happen here, is it? So, love that. And also, I used it when I was on the plane as well. So you know when they always come around and they offer you like juices and waters and things and they put it in this little plastic cup um yeah i just said can you put it in here and the lady was really nice and did and it also meant that i got a larger portion than this little little cup so there's tips they had traded uh second one or third is reusable cutlery this my mum bought me for christmas i think we just got it in tk max so it came with all the little straws in there so one's like smoothie one i always drink my coffee with a straw i just i'm weird like that i think it tastes nicer and it protects your teeth a little bit more so i keep them all safe in in there and my little knife and fork i bought them in africa so they've got beads on they're so pretty um you know <laughs> if you're a little bit messy you have a napkin or a hanky it depends how you're going how you're doing and then my next tip, everyone has a reusable bag. So this isn't a new one. I feel like this is like the most basic bitch tip. But my friend bought me this for Christmas. Yeah, and it's a turtle bag and it's global, organic, 
textile standard. So this is a really, really beautiful one. And I also just use this as like a little beach bag or if I'm going out quite casually for the day, everything goes in there and then it folds up nice and small and I've literally got an elastic band around it to keep it neat. If I'm also in the grocery store, I also use, this is a little bit dirty, but I try and get everything without the plastic on it or if you go to a local market and you wanna get food or fruit or anything to take away, you can put in these. I think I bought loads of Amazon for like super, super cheap. Um, like a pound or two so these are really handy as well if those are all my just like everyday tips and things that I would have in my bag and then my next section of things are toiletries this is my favorite section I just I just love pampering myself and anything that smells beautiful um, so let's start off with skin because that's exciting um, when I went to France, I flew from Luton Airport and they had this Up Circle brand there and they do a little store for all travel and a few things that I bought was this is a face scrub repurposed coffee grounds which is awesome anyway um, and it just smells like I wish I could share this with you it smells so damn good oh, just like beautiful essential oils and then they have a recycling center so when you fly back if you're going back you can pop it in there and they'll recycle it for you um, but I'm just gonna keep it and make my own little coffee scrub and pop it in there so it's a really nice size I also bought some coffee some coffee mm. some toothpaste tablets these are chewable recyclable vegan don't test on animals um, and I put them in here which my friend bought me this for Christmas again she knows me so well and um, yeah, they're just you chew them, brush your teeth with them, you know, on your bamboo toothbrush. Get one, get one, get one. At first, it was really weird to get used to a bamboo toothbrush. Um, Cause it's like, you know, when you get to the end of a lollipop and you're like, oh. But now I literally don't even think about it. It was just like a little bit of time and this one's super smooth as well. And I think this is biodegradable the floss itself which is awesome it's like a very waxy texture but it comes in this little plastic jar so it's all recyclable rather than having that little plastic box so that's another little dental tip and then bearing in mind the reusable things these save so much money if you like add up in a year how much you'd spend on a razor so I bought this, I forgot mine, so I bought this when I got here in Australia, but I have one back at home as well. Best shave I've ever had. And then when the blade's a little bit blunt, these tend to last longer than like your usual plastic disposable one. But when the blade's a little bit blunt, then you just unscrew it and you can buy the little um, blades themselves and they're super cheap and a lot, lot smaller. So you replace that rather than the whole shebang. And then another little toiletry is a reusable nail file. These last, I've had this like a year or so, these last ages. So that's like a little extra thing in life that you always need. And then body wise for my toiletries, coconut oil, like I buy this wherever I go. So it comes in a jar, so it's really great for the environment anyway, but you can just use it for everything. It is the best thing for after sun. So if you get a little burn, put it on there and it soothes it and you're absolutely fine. But I also just rub a little bit on my eyes to remove my mascara if I've been wearing some that day. And then I also add some essential oils and make a really nice um, body lotion with it. I've got orange and lavender in here, I think. And it just like really soothes me. I like to put it on my chest before bed. And this is a little jar that I've reused with it as well. It's like a spoon in. Yeah, I really like to stick my hand in. <laughs> so there's that one. And then my next tip is soap. Which, if you're traveling for a prolonged amount of time anyway, like you do not want to take the big plastic bottles, especially if it's got a pump. And I like to use nice shampoo and conditioner on my hair not just whatever you pick up from the local store, which might be um, 
maybe not as good for your hair. So if I can take a bar, which is gonna last me, you know, two or three months, that is incredible. So I actually got these the other day from the market in Melbourne. It's called the Prahan Market. And it was three bars of soap for $8. Yeah, which is mad. Like that is, that's like £4.50 English term wise. And they're beautiful. So I just bought one, which is for my body. And these are all natural, made with essential oils, vegan, cruelty free. This is a hemp one. So um, I have that one and it's got menthol. And then they have these ones, which are multi-purpose. It's for your body, but it's also for your hair as well. So again, the shampoo. And then I just put them in my little tin, little reusable tin. And these are so much more compact. Like I said, they last me ages. And save me lots of money as well. So much nicer for my hair. Going back to what I was saying, removing my makeup, these have been like a game changer. Like I always felt so guilty in the evenings because I'd use like one cotton pad to take off my eyes and then one cotton pad to like tone my face. And that soon adds up. And if you look into the cotton production and the bleaching of it, it's just not great for you or the environment. So I have these little reusable swabbies. <laughs> this one I made myself. It's looking a little bit sad because it's just the one that I use on my eyes. And I had um, for Asia like a little mask so that when I was on the roads, I wouldn't be breathing in the pollution. I was that person. And yeah, when I stopped using it, I just cut little circles, sewed them together and I just wipe off the coconut oil with this one, hand wash it in the sink straight after, I just use, just use hand soap. <laughs> and then these I bought for 50p in the UK, just on the market. And I use them every day and they're great and they feel so much nicer on my skin as well. And they'll last me ages. Cool, and then I have two more tips and tricks that I use as well in every day or along the way is use up what you have and if you do need something maybe you can swap it like if you're traveling and staying in a hostel um someone might have something that you need or that they need or you can share and so i just really want to advocate buying second hand um take it home give it a little clean give it some love i love i love like just thinking what was its life before before i've taken it in and given it home I wonder whose it was and what life it had. And now I'm carrying that on. You can get really unusual and um, individual things. So you're not following like the fast fashion trends. You can get some really good quality pieces and yeah, it can help the environment along the way as well. Thank you all for listening. Hope this helped. And if anyone's going traveling, please leave in the comments where you're going. Um, and if you use any tips or if you can think of any extra tips, I would love to hear them. We can all help each other out. Last but not least, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day and it's been really lovely to connect with you. Bye. <laughs>